Howdy folks, it's Tall Turtle here, and welcome back to the Germany Journey Bus Trip while my voice cracks because of allergies, of course, year-round allergies, but in this bus trip we get to fly in what seems to be like the middle of summer, so leg four, one leg per video, you've already seen three, let's get going. And I forgot to have my um, um, fuel forward when I started the trip, so now it turned off, let's see, is that going to keep running for me? I think it will. Yes, yes, it will. All right, let's go. Pedo heat and panel, panel. Thank you. Need the flood? No, don't need the flood. Blowers don't work. Um. Okay, there we go. Let's go down here and clean this up. You all know how I can't stand that. Pedo heat is on. Um. What? You saw me turn it on, right? That's weird. All right, we'll get this ready to go. Wow, my voice is just dragging today. I apologize. Oh, there's that weird bug that happens sometimes. And there we go. Alrighty, cool. Let's zoom this out a little bit. Alright, where are we going? What are we doing? Let's have a look-see. We are going to Iraq, Echo Delta, Alpha, Quebec. 28 minutes or so, so it'll take me about 40 probably at least. So let's get going. Olympic Stadium, taking off from Berlin Tegel, Pointer Bonanza G36 in Southwestern heading, and after a short bit of flying, you'll reach Olympia Stadium, the largest venue in Germany for international football games, soccer for us in the American bubble, with a capacity of 74,475, I assume, spectators. Not balls. Spectators? That is right away. And remember now, we are in Germany. I mean, we are in Berlin right now. So that's right away. One minute. So look for the stadium as best as we can. No guarantees, but hopefully I'll get it in the imagery and you can find it yourself if I can't find it. Right after that, we're going to Havel. Continue on your heading and you'll quickly reach the Havel, a small river. That is a tributary to the Elbe River. So we're going to look for the stadium. They're going to go to the river. And then after that... We're going to go to Temple and RC. Seven more miles. Nautical miles, there's a difference. Along your southwestern heading, you'll reach Temple C, a beautiful lake that abuts the city of Potsdam. During the late 1920s and early 1930s, that's a century ago for you young ones, nearly a century ago, it is a century ago, Albert Einstein sailed on the Temple Liner C during summer vacations. So, um, a stadium, a river... And a sailboat, well, we're not really going to see the sailboat, even though that would be really cool. And if you're wondering what the Templar Sea is, it is probably these bodies of water here, I would imagine, right? Because, um, he sailed. <laughs> so that would only make sense. Maybe it's off screen even. Seven, yeah, seven minutes out. It's probably down here somewhere. Whoops, it's probably one of these over here we'll see we'll point the airplane in that direction and we'll go wherever it goes so we're gonna do those right away and then once you get to the C S E E, we will um read about the next thing so here we go 210 210 222 so let's go 210 on heading there is 210 and flight director heading bug right we don't have GPS because we've stopped the sim and started over and we've talked about that many times so we just heading bug and we'll do ooh what else do we want um I don't think there's any train to worry about so let's stay nice and low um unless we have to climb for some reason um well let's do 2700 and we'll do vertical speed 800 feet per minute or so and there you go so everything is all set up. Let's have a quick look outside. Whoops, wrong pedal. Let's have a look around before you take off. It's been a while. It's been a couple weeks in real life since I've flown. Just because of real life adventures. Um, I'm not sure how long that means for you in terms of uploads. I know it seems like I'm doing a lot more Minecraft lately than flying. That isn't the case. It's just the way the videos are being uploaded and edited. Like I'll record a bunch of stuff 
over a night or two or even a weekend day lately with my kids at their friend's house and my wife at her friend's house. And then I edit whenever I can, and then I upload whenever I get them edited. So if you think like I'm putting Minecraft ahead of Flight Sim, I'm not. It's just the way it's getting edited and uploaded. So that's all. Nothing to read into there. Alrighty. Um, let's see. What are we doing? I want to take off. And does this have reversers? No. Why do I always ask that? This is not, not a turbo prop, folks. Um, okay, so here we go. Break off. And no break is on, I guess. Okay, let's get back centered. Um, we will start the clock after the second POI, after the river. Um, just because we'll be restarting it right away and right away and right away. So let's just get up first of all. This is a bumpy runway. There we go. Brakes to stop the wheels. Gear coming up. Flaps coming up. And would it be cheesy to use autopilot right away? It would. But then we can look around. We need to do 210. So as soon as we're over this runway, which we're not doing a very good job staying lined up because I'm already looking around. Um, we'll turn 210. I just don't want to do it quite yet because it's still over the runway. We'll look at downtown over there. Alrighty, here we go. Now we'll use autopilot just because I want to look around. So autopilot there we go i wasn't doing a very good job watching my speed was i all righty let's have a look around outside we can use our um drone because autopilot is controlling the plane For those of you who don't watch every video which is probably most of you i have my drone controls on my yoke and pedals so i can't fly and do the drone at the same time, unless I'm doing autopilot. So I take advantage when I can and look at that skyline. There we go. Let's take a screenshot of that, even though that's not going to be a thumbnail material. But I normally don't actually use thumbnails like this. Maybe I'll try. I'm taking a bunch of screenshots of the bird. I keep saying Germany is Berlin. And the Berlin skyline. It'd be kind of cool to go over there, wouldn't it? Um, I never did see this, though. I never looked for the stadium. Um, see, that's the problem. Without knowing where the stadium is, maybe that's it out there. Um, you know, I may have turned too soon. I may have turned too late. It does say a minute out, though. Um, I don't know. I'm so excited. Look, oh, there it is. I think that, I, is that it, do you think? Do you think that's it? Could be. I could Google it and pause the game. Ha ha ha. The sim. I like calling it the game just harass people. I could pause the sim and look it up, but I'm pretty sure that's it. Which means we turned a little bit later than they intended, which is weird because I turned right on the runway. I would say that's probably it. But I'm willing to be wrong. Alrighty, let's see. So then we got the river right there in front of us. So those are the two things. So as soon as we get to the river, we'll turn to 222 and then we will um, we will be on our way the next POI. I'm just looking around. Alright, Berlin. We're going to hop inside now. Yeah, we did turn a little early because, look, we're supposed to be over the river, but instead we're off to the left a little bit. But that's okay. So, yeah, that has to be the stadium because that has to be the river. And you get the idea. So, let's see. Are we quite ready yet? No. We're going to go to the sea, which is... Wait. No, that's seven minutes out. Oh my gosh. Okay, I was looking over here for this. It's going to be this stuff, right? It's going to be this area, really. In fact, that's probably... Let's see. The stadium, the rivers. This is the river here. So that's going to be the sea there. Okay, so let's correct our course a little bit. Just so we can... In fact, this would be 222 already, wouldn't it? That's our next... Yeah, that's what we want to do anyway. Except we would want to do when we get to the river, but we're doing it a little bit early because we're off. So there we go, 222. Let's bring back props a little bit. It's us out of the red. Good. That's fabulous. Okay, everything is good. We're not going to use a timer quite yet. Um, how are we doing at altitude? We're fantastic. The river is that river right under the nose. And then it's going to be the Timberlander Sea. 
I'm just looking at traffic down there. That looks really awesome. That looks so cool. And then all the boats along the water there. And off in the distance. Alright, let's keep an eye on our vitals here. Speed is kind of high, but it's okay. It's not going to overspeed us for that. We're out of the red over here. We got good fuel. We have to change tanks in a minute here. And um, we're still a little bit off course. We're still a little bit to the southwest. So let's turn the course a little bit more towards the water. Like that. And there we go. Alrighty, um, we got a little bit to go yet before we go to the next POI, I believe. So let's um, have like 20 to 40 seconds of sightseeing, because I do it in 20 second segments. If you've never noticed, that's how I do it. Unless there's something really cool. So give me like a minute of sightseeing, and then we'll catch up with each other in about a minute here. Or less, actually. We're moving pretty quick. That's all the sightseeing you get. <laughs> it was only 20 seconds instead of 40. But that's okay, because there's a Templar C right there. Um, this area right here where Einstein sailed, apparently. Alrighty, here we go. We gotta catch up though. What is next? So now we are gonna start the timer. So let's go 224, which means we're actually gonna go back a little bit now that we're finally over the water and realigned. There's 224. Let's start the timer. And let's read. All right, seven and a half minutes. Bad Belzig. Naughty, naughty Belzig. At 22 nautical miles of the Templar Sea lies Bad Belzig, a beautiful historic town that lies in the high Fleming Nature Park. So, up here, seven and a half minutes, is a beautiful historic town. Okay, so we'll do that, and then we'll read about the next one when we get there. So that's all I have to say. See, I don't talk all the time if I don't have to. No stories today. I don't think I have any Germany stories at all. Um, my wife has a friend from grad school who was from Germany, who now lives in Fargo, North Dakota. Right? No, Grand Forks. Fargo, Grand. Anyway, whatever. She lives like a block from the river that floods every 20 years or something. But that's it. I don't know. That's all I have to say about Germany. So anyway, um, here we go. Seven minutes or so, and I will catch up with you. Let's look for this historic town, shall we? So this could be our historic town here, which means we're a minute and a half ahead of schedule. Um, or it could just be a coincidence and there's an another town up here a minute and a half, but I'm not really thinking so. I'm thinking this is it here. Um, we'll keep looking up ahead, but we're going to assume this is it. Um, the autogen in our altitude, you can't really tell if it's that historic, but I'm assuming it is. I don't know. You may know better than I do. Um, let's see, so what does that mean? That means we're going to read about the next POI in just a moment. And why is my voice getting all goofy? Um, I don't know. That looks more like a natural nature park up there, but... 
I don't know. I'm going over a minute ahead. Man, we're low. I like being this low, though. All right, let's read about the next place, and then we'll just keep an eye out for another town. Um, so, turning to 12, which we will in a moment. Desso, a town located at the confluence of the Elbe and Elbe and Mull rivers, is located 23 nautical miles to the southwest of Nadi Belzig. So, we'll go another 742 at 212 and look for a town where the rivers meet. Hmm, let me see. Let's go over here. And we see a river. Oh, there's a river there. Let's see what else if we zoom out. Um, so maybe it's there or there. I'm assuming here because that's why we're pointed. And we're going to go 212, which is more of the south. Yeah. Alrighty, let's look out see if there's another town. Okay, there's a town there. That could be it there. Um, it could be that there. <laughs> I mean, it could be any of these. It could be this right here. <laughs> it could be that one. Let's actually take out the drone. And we'll see. I mean, it could be that town. See, it could be any of these, to be honest. Um, I don't know. Even if we looked at Google Maps, it's not like there's a identifying body of water or anything around here. So it could be any of these. Could have been that right there. Could, that looks historic. And we went literally directly over it, so we never saw it. Um, I don't know, but regardless, we have to turn an airplane. So what did it say? 212? 212 for 714. So let's go backwards to 212. Like that, and then stop this and restart it. And we'll go 7... wait, 742. We'll go 742. And yeah, so when we get to that river, we will, um... Look for another town, and then we'll read about the grosser Grotius cheese. But we'll do that in a little bit. And then we'll head to the airport. So, seven and a half minutes for me, just a minute or two for you, and I'll see you at the river. Okay, something crazy is going on. It's supposed to be seven and a half minutes. It's only three and a half, and we're already at these rivers? That can't be right. <laughs> are there more rivers out here? Or are we just going... To, well, where's your airport? Um, hmm. This is really strange, because normally it takes me way, way longer... I know we're lower and I know we're flying a lot faster than we normally do. 184 knots ground speed. Um, but I, I don't know. Okay, I guess we're way ahead of schedule, which never happens. So let's take advantage of it and let's look around here a little bit. And let's read about the next thing, I guess. It says to go 157 degrees for four and a half minutes. So 10 seconds, I guess, for us. <laughs> 157 I assume we're in the right spot. I don't see any other rivers for anywhere near here, so we'll go like this, 157, and it says five minutes or so. Change course from the southwest to the south southeast and fly to Grosser Goitzesi, a renowned regional lake. Yeah, there's definitely lakes in front of us now. Look at this. So we're in the right spot to follow the river to the lake and then our airport, Alpha Quebec, is down here probably. Okay, I guess. All right, that's all right. Fine, I'll see you at the lake. No swimsuits required. And if it isn't obviously already obviously obvious, that is our lake right there. 
of the two peninsulas, so we'll reset the timer in a moment, but let's look outside and enjoy the sights together just briefly. And this reminds me I need to get a cloud mod in my Minecraft where you have clouds exactly like this in Minecraft. I just keep forgetting to find one. Alrighty, let's see here. Let's read about the next place while the lake was undressed. Um, let's see. Turn into a west-southwest heading and land at Halliopin Airport. 12.4 nautical miles from the Gross Lake. Alrighty, that's paved and everything in the MOBA field. So we'll turn to 249 and then we'll look for the airport, which is one of these maybe? Because it's EDAC. Not ebbed, so there's probably two airports next to each other, perhaps. Perhaps? Must be. I don't see another airport there, and that's if this from here to here was seven minutes, that's going to be four, so there should be an airport there. I don't know, man. All right, here we go. Let's turn what did it say? 249. Let's stop this. We don't need this anymore. Good, we're just going to look for an airport on the GPS. 249 is going to be this way. 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 40, 40, 9. There we go. And um, everyone is wishing my younger, youngest child a happy birthday late tonight. Texts. Family party in a couple days that he doesn't want, but he's having one anyway. Then we're gonna have a party for him with his friend, best friend, with a very, very long holiday weekend for schools. Alrighty, let's see here. We barely caught the view. Look at that river, that's cool, like horseshoe. And, um, ooh, there's this, some stadiums down there, and a nice town. And then we gotta look for this airport. So, let's see here. I just want to enjoy the scenery for a moment before we go back to actually flying a plane um it's hard in your left seat because you want to look around all right this is supposed to take us to an airport and i don't see an airport what 249 because this was the big lake right yep 249 for four minutes um Really? Is it... Wait a second. Um... Where's the airport? <laughs> what? Uh... Well... Let's just enjoy the scenery and maybe it's going to be an extended trip while we try to find this airport. There it is. Just had to zoom in really close, I guess. So there's an airport right off her nose. Right off the left nostril. And I don't quite see it, which is fine. Because we're going to hand fly now. And we're going to fly towards it using the GPS. How did we end up north? Oh, because I should have turned at the bottom of the lake. We turned at the top center of the lake. Makes a big difference, doesn't it? All right, let's keep an eye on our speed. Let's not overspeed or else we have to redo the legs. Bring back throttles a little bit while we keep the attitude the same. That'll slow us down. All righty, let's see here. Um, now should be off the right nostril. I don't see it yet, even though it's right in front of us, apparently. Um, it's Is it this? Oh, it's that. Oh, that's tiny. No wonder why. See the beacon in front of our nose? That's why we had to zoom in so much. We'll put gear down just so it stops whining at us. And we'll come out here and have a very short final while we descend rather quickly, but realistically. Oh boy. Yeah, we're going to have to come out a little bit farther. Um, I received an amusing comment on an, a video that was complaining about how I was landing a jet. 
my throttle was all over the place. It was, my V was, well, my speed was all over the place and for set flaps and all this and that. And I looked at it. It was like a six-year-old video. <laughs> so I'm like, hey, buddy, I came a, I've come a long way <laughs> in six years. That's one way to hope. So I don't know. I just bring it, I just find it amusing because um, I will get comments sometimes on really, really old videos that, um, I mean, they, sure, they apply to that video, but things like this are, um, you know, they don't age well, right? They're very time dependent. And I'll get things like that too, like, well, some of my very, very first videos with a bad microphone and all these things, people will be like, it's a great start to a YouTube channel. I'm like, yeah, that was nine years ago. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's kind of funny. So, I don't know. Also, when I, um, I was like, it flaps. I always check dates too before I comment on a video, like, you know, or like on my piano channel too. People will be like, your piano sounds old, it needs voicing, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, dude, that was 12 years ago, and I've been through three pianos since then. <laughs> like, what? It's just kind of funny. Or, I don't think that. It's just kind of funny when things are um, time sensitive or not sensitive, but they just don't age well on YouTube. I just find it super amusing. Um, but, can't really blame the viewer. They're just watching a video that's there. So anyway, I'm not gonna go back and edit every video and be like, this is out of date. I can land an airplane now. All right, here we go. Speaking of landing, let's see if we can do this after talking through all that. Um, I'm getting some train turbulence for some reason. That's kind of weird. Let's see, is it gonna stall right before red? Probably. Let's just T stall while ground effects saves us here. There we go. And there we go. In real life, of course, you would not stall that soon. And that was a weird landing because it was like train turbulence because that little teeny tiny hill. That's the downside of train turbulence in this sim is you get a little teeny teeny tiny hill. And the sim is like, ooh, big updraft. I'm like, no, it's a seven foot hill. Anyway, it did take us longer than it's supposed to, even though we were ahead of schedule for some of it. So explain to me how that works. Eight minutes longer, but we were ahead in every step. Strange. Anyway, you know the drill, one link per video, so that's it. Like, subscribe, so that YouTube knows we exist, and so you can see the next leg when it comes out. See you then.